Hi and welcome to Annalise Maths. Today we're looking at speed, distance and time. Now this is one of the formulas you will need to learn for level two functional skills maths. So let's look at it and how it works. When we're looking at speed, distance and time, we often learn it as a formula um, and we often learn it as a triangle. So on this triangle, what the way it works is I cover up the one that I want. Now, hopefully you've already seen my formula video and you know that when things are next to each other, it means to multiply. And when things are over each other, it means to divide. So if I cover up distance on this, I'm left with speed and time next to each other. So distance is speed multiplied by time. If I cover up speed, speed is distance divided by time. If I cover up time, time is distance divided by speed. So by learning this one triangle, you are learning three formula. So I would think of think of an acronym that you can or think of a way that you can remember the fact that speed, distance, time in this order. Um, so and remember that when they're over each other, it's divide when they're next to each other, it's to multiply. OK, let's have a look at some questions. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to pause the video and I would like you to try these four questions. Don't forget your speed, distance, time triangle. So speed, distance, time. And as I said before, you are covering up the one that you want. So give these a go for me, please. OK, let's have a look at these. So this first one, Dylan travels 123 miles in four hours, find the average speed. So we're looking for speed. So we know that speed is distance divided by time. So I've got 123 divided by four. Now, if I do that on my calculator, I end up with 30.75 miles per hour. OK, let's have a look. Sophia travels at a constant speed of 160 kilometers per hour for five hours. Find the distance. So this time I'm looking for distance. So distance is speed multiplied by time. So I'm doing 160 multiplied by five, which means that Sophia has traveled 800 kilometers. OK, Mikhail travels a distance of 1,275 miles and his average speed was 150 miles per hour. I would like you to know that obviously functional skills um, is usually quite made up. So 150 miles per hour means he's probably been stopped several times, lost his license, been given a few tickets. Um, but for the sake of this question, because I want to discuss the answer. So we're looking for duration. So we're looking for time. So distance, uh, 1,275 divided by the 150 would give me 8.5 hours. Last one, I'm going to come back and speak about 8.5 hours in a moment. Last one, Jacinta travels 175 kilometers in four hours. Find the speed. So speed is distance divided by time. So I'm doing 175 divided by four, um, which is going to give me 43.75 kilometers per hour. OK, I want to speak about this one. So it's 8.5 hours. Now, if you wrote 8.5 hours as your final answer, you would indeed be correct. That is the correct answer. But what does 8.5 hours actually mean? Now, 0.5 is a half, 0 0.5 is a half. So that's eight and a half hours, which is actually eight hours, 30 minutes. So be really, really careful. I've seen a lot of times when people have got the correct answer, they've written 8.5 hours, but then they've gone on and they've turned it into 8 hours, 50 minutes or 8 hours, 5 minutes. Big tip for functional skills. Do not ask, do not do what they haven't asked you to. If the question hasn't asked you to convert it into minutes, leave it as long as you write 8.5 hours you are indeed correct don't convert if it doesn't ask you to if you convert it and get it correct that's fine but if you convert it and make a mistake you're going to lose a mark even though you have the correct answer written down by then turning this into eight hours 50 minutes you've then made your correct answer incorrect 
That being said, let's talk about time. When we're doing um, when we're doing time on a calculator, um, majority of things that we deal with. So centimeters, there's a hundred centimeters in a meter. Money, there's a hundred pence in a pound. Um, weight, there's sorry liters, there's a hundred centiliters in a liter. Everything is broken down into these units of 10, 100 and 1000. And that's the units our calculator deals with. So our calculator has given us base 10 answers for time questions, which is not in base 10. So we need to be really, really careful. Sometimes we do need to turn them into minutes. So for example, if I add 8.2 hours, this is not 8 hours, 20 minutes, it's 8 hours and 0 0.2 of an hour. There's 60 minutes in an hour. So if you need to do this, grab your decimal, just the decimal bit and multiply it by 60 and that will give you the minutes. Same with the other way around. Nine hours, 15 minutes, which is 9.25 um, hours. I would get my 15 minutes divided by 60 and that would turn it into the decimal. So be really, really careful. Um, I've seen a few questions before where you're dealing with miles per minute. So when you've got miles per minute, obviously we don't speak in miles per minute, we speak in miles per hour. So when you've got miles per minute, make sure you remember there's 60 minutes in an hour. So by timesing that by 60, you're then turning it into miles per hour. Okay, let's have a look at a few exam style questions on this. So on this first one, Olivia plans to drive from Birmingham to Manchester non-stop. The distance is 87 miles and she's allowed 1.5 hours for the journey. What's the average speed for two marks and for one more mark, use reverse calculation. You should know reverse calculations from previous studies, but if not, I'll show you how to do that in a moment. OK, so pause the video, give this a go and I'll join you back with the answer in a moment. OK, let's have a look at this. So speed, distance, time. OK, so what have I got going on here? The distance is 87 and we've got the time. So I'm looking for the speed. So it's distance divided by time. So if I do my 87 divided by my 1.5 hours, that is going to give me 58. So she, what's the average speed? She must do 58 miles per hour. Now a reverse calculation. A reverse calculation is pretty much what it says on the tin. It wants you to do the opposite of what you've just done. So what I always do is I always start with my answer, so 58, and I'm doing the opposite. So the opposite of divide by 1.5 is multiply by 1.5. And if you pop that in a calculator, it will give you 87. So a reverse calculation is a way to check you're doing the same thing again, uh, but you're doing opposite with the opposite. Um, so the opposite of divide is times, the opposite of takeaway is add. So you're doing the opposite. OK, let's have another look. On this one, their roadway road works on a motorway the average speed limits 50 miles an hour a car travels 18 miles in 24 minutes is the average speed of the car less than 50 so i've got a yes no question so be careful okay give this one a go for me please pause the video right let's have a look so speed distance time so this time I am looking for the speed. So I've got the distance, 18 miles, and I've got the time, 24 minutes. I know it says 50 miles an hour in the question, but this is what we're proving. We're proving is this car doing less than 50? So I'm gonna get my distance, my 18, and I'm gonna divide it by my 24. And if I do that on a calculator, I will get 0.75. Now, this is where a lot of my students will go, oh, I've done it wrong. You haven't, because look, we're in minutes. So I've got 0 0.75 miles per minute. We do not speak in miles per minute. So I'm going to get my 0 0.75. I'm going to multiply it by 60 to turn it into miles per hour. And I'm going to end up with um, 45 miles per hour. Are they doing less than 50? Yes, they are. You could have done this a different way. So you could have turned your 24 minutes into 
into hours first. So you could have done that by doing your 24 divided by your 60, which would have given you 0.4. 18 divided by 0.4 would have given you 45. So you could have done it a different way. There's often more than one way to get the right answer on these. Last question. So on this one, Lucia is driving to a meeting. She needs to drive for 58 miles on the motorway. The maximum speed limit of the motorway is 70 miles per hour. She's not going to drive over the speed limit. Work out the minimum time um, she'll spend on the motorway. Give your answer correct to the nearest minute. So pause the video. Give this one a go for me, please. OK, so again, I'm going to do my speed, distance, time triangle. So on this one, I've got the distance and I've got the speed. So distance is 58 divided by my speed, which is 70. If I do that, it's going to give me 0 0.828, blah, 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 blah. Now, I've got, don't forget, I've just got a base 10 answer and time isn't in base 10. So it's not that it's going to take her less than a minute to get there because that's impossible. It's not that it's 82 minutes because this is, as I said before, this is a base 10 answer to a time question. So because I've got this, I'm going to times it by 60. And if I times it by 60, that is going to give me 49.71 which would round to 50 minutes. If you've rounded it to 49 minutes, so if you rounded here, you are going to end up with 49 minutes. If you rounded this to 0.8 or 0 0.2, 0 0.82, you would have ended up with 49.2, which would have obviously rounded to 49. 50 is the correct final answer, and 50 is what is in the mark scheme. So when you're dealing with numbers, do not round until you've got to your final answer. If you round too early in the sum, you're going to lose a minute or you're going to lose a pound or you're going to lose something. So make sure you don't round till the very, very end. OK, as always, any questions, please pop them in the comments. Best of luck on your studies. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in today.